And Kim, I, I think you've made this point before. It's a great one that, you know what, the Democrats have totally sold out the idea that you know, private medical decisions belong to people and their doctors. They have absolutely discredited the idea that that's a important uh, virtue to them. We're now making medical decisions at the collective level, at the federal bureaucracy level. Uh, it, it's it's it, so maybe it maybe it doesn't matter, but from a principled standpoint, I, I wonder if that has any effect. Well, other members of the left are pointing out that there has been support for, to your point, Kim, these anti-abortion Democrats. In Congress, uh, Henry Kohler uh, in Texas has been running against uh, Jessica Cincinnati. And of course, the establishment Democrat has secured all kinds of uh, endorsements from the party, the same people who are now wringing their hands and saying, oh my God, you got to vote harder for Democrats to get into office. Well, if you've got Democrats like these, who needs enemies? Right. And why isn't there support for someone who is a firmly pro-choice candidate like uh, Jessica C Cisneros and support of the Democratic Party behind the people who actually support what are supposed to be bedrock principles of the Democratic Party itself? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, uh, but at the end of the day, I do think that this will show us uh, if this opinion ends up being the opinion that's put out there. I have a hard time believing that this is the actual draft of what's finally going to be out there. But, hey, you know, I mean, We've been shocked before, I suppose. Right. Um, but if that's the case, then people will need to start paying way more attention to their local elections. That And that is where it will drive a lot of attention. It's not just about getting people at the federal level. People are going to have to pay attention to who they elect on a local level because that person is going to decide when that line is of when a woman still has the right to choose. Is it will she be protected for rape and incest or if her life is in danger? Um, my real big fear about this, in order to even re to overturn this again uh, in the Supreme Court to for it to go up to that level, I worry somebody has to lose their life, and this has to then get challenged in court, where people say my sister, my daughter lost her life because the doctors would not give her an mm -hmm. abortion, and the ba you know, and, and there was complications, there was medical complications, and the doctors have been warning about this, and and she couldn't access one, and you know, the people are going to have to get to that point in order to even bring this back up to the Supreme Court. That's also another, you know, in order to get this overturned, you have to have somebody suing somebody. And yeah, yeah I think it's for? important for, I'm glad you brought it back to the reality of the, the world life implications of this, Kim. One, one fun, not so fun fact that I learned recently um, about why the, um, how the, 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 the trimester system was decided in Roe originally was that they were gonna do an earlier date. But because there's no universal health care in America, there was this concern that it would take women longer than that to access health care to actually secure an abortion. And for that reason, they extended the timeline. It was a feature of us having a broken health care system in the first instance that gave justices who didn't necessarily have an ideological commitment to giving a time, women more time to secure an abortion extended it, knowing that it's so difficult for women to find resources. And even if it, if it does come to look down to localities and individual states, that's not going to be a solution for the majority of people who are affected, who are low income folks, disproportionately black and brown, who also disproportionately live in red states. And if you look at the maps of where we're going to lose the right to choose in the country, in this country, it's going to be a lot of older, more affluent, I'm sorry, white leadership that is making these kinds of rules that are not gonna affect them. They're gonna be able to fly their mistresses to Connecticut and get all the abortions yeah. they want. And it's gonna be these low income populations that are really gonna suffer.